What's up, guys? It's MB Boxing. I just finished up watching Jared Anderson versus Miljan Rovkanin, and this was an eight rounder in the heavyweight division. And this fight was Saturday, August 27th, from the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And this fight was broadcasted on ESPN, ESPN Plus, or in the ESPN app. And in this fight, Jared Anderson was able to get a second round knockout victory over Miljan Rovkanin. So leading up to the stoppage, I had this bout score ten to nine in favor of Jared Anderson. So just to break this fight down round by round, um, in the first round, I mean, both these guys came out swinging in the first round. Anderson was primarily much more composed than um, than Ruff Kenyon, but Ruff Kenyon was just coming forward, throwing, trying to throw big shots on Anderson. But obviously, Anderson is very well skilled. Um, and has very solid defense, so he was able to just get out of the way of his shots and counter him. But, I mean, Rob Cunning was able to land some nice shots here and there, but, I mean, Anderson simply just outworked him in round one and just landed the better shots and just clearly won it um, in a dominant fashion. Even though Rob Cunning was throwing uh, shots of his own, he was just getting just simply outworked and just outboxed and just getting hit. And it's not like Anderson was just boxing on his toes uh, on the outside. He was just simply landing the bigger and better shots and um, boxing in the pocket, as in landing the better shots, um, whilst they were both exchanging, and he was just countering him, and he easily won the first round. But then in round number two, after more like exchanging like round one, Jared Anderson was able to land some nice headshots. Like Speaking of, um, the jab in this fight was very solid for Anderson. He was able to back up. Uh, Ruff Kenyon with some of those shots and just sort of offset his pace. Uh, he was able to. He was. He landed a one-two first on Ruff Kenyon, then another right hand or another left hand. Then he just stepped in with a full out, full power shot, a uh, big right hand that sent Ruff Kenyon to the canvas. Um, he did not get up. He stayed in his back for the whole ten count. Referee waved it off, obviously. So yeah, Jared Anderson did what he had to do. Um, got the second round knockout victory over an opponent who was 24-2 and two going into the fight, or 23-2, and two, whatever it was. Um, but, um, yeah, very solid win for Jared Anderson. So this goes into the question, what is next for Jared Anderson? He's 12-0 and 0 with 12 knockouts, very solid young heavyweight prospect. Some people are calling him the next best thing in the heavyweight division. Uh, he definitely could be that. I mean, he's very young, and so far what I've seen from him is very, very good. Uh, I think in his next fight, they might put him up against someone like a F.A. Jagwe. That I know what in my fight review for the F.A. Jagwe fight in this card, I talked about it. That definitely could be an option. Like for Anderson, it definitely could be an option, um, obviously, uh, because these guys are both very solid heavyweights in top rank. Uh, would not be a bad fight. I think either man could win. It's really who lands first. Um, but I think when it comes to technicality, um, Jared Anderson is just a much better fighter. Then Ajagba, but Ajagba has that lethal right hand. Anderson also has great power of his own. So it's a very, very good fight that could happen next. But really, like in reality, the next fight for Anderson will probably be against another guy like this. Because Anderson really hasn't stepped it up yet in his heavyweight career thus far. Um, I mean, I would like to see a step up, obviously. But I think they'll continue growing him. Because it's not like he's like 28 or 27 or something like that. I mean, he's only in his early 20s, so he's still rising up. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he takes on another guy like this that he's able to put down in a few rounds. So, overall, Jared Anderson um, knocks out Miljan Rovkanin in two rounds, um, stopping him with a big right hand, um, leaving Rovkanin on his back, and the referee waving it off. And, again, that's really it. I'm MB Boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.